All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. I want to continue on with a, another suppressor build. If there's any interest, I'll continue on with it. But got one end of this titanium tube threaded. One thing you'll see is that I don't cut a thread relief in there. I don't want to compromise the integrity of the, of the tube in any way. But we'll, uh, we'll get started. Here we go. Well, these are some pretty nice looking threads. Cutting titanium is uh, a little difficult, but uh, the results are pretty good. Let me tell you how we got to this point. All right, so let's talk about these uh, dimensions on the suppressor tube. The idea is 1.327, 1.327 and a half, and the uh, thickness is 0.91, so it's uh, a candidate for 24 threads per inch. When I'm threading these suppressor tubes, I use a program, uh, Unified National Thread Calculator. It's located on the uh, Theoretical Machinist website. And uh, here you can see the site being pulled up. There's a URL right there. That'll get you to the Unified National Imperial Screw Thread Calculator. Gives you all the data you need for calculating a thread, whether it's a, a 2B or 2A internal, external threads. And it's got all the definitions right here. And since the size of our suppressor, what fits the best is an inch and three eighths by 24 threads, or an inch and three eighths by 24, uh, seems to fit the best. Actually, it fits right on. It's the nominal size. You won't have to do any boring uh, to board out to the, the thread size. Uh, we can just leave it the way it is. I may clean it up a little bit, but that's about it. Uh, we'll be cutting the 2A and 2B type threads. Uh, 2B is the internal thread definition. And it gives you all the information you need right there, the minor diameter, uh, which is what you need to get your ID open to up to somewhere within that range. And uh, if you're cutting a different type of threads, like uh, external, you simply just go to uh, you go Turn it on to uh, a 2A. Hit the calculate button. And once you hit calculate, it brings up the information you need. On external, you need the major diameter uh, range, which is right there. For external threads. And what we'll do is match up. Once we cut the threads in this tube, we'll make an end cap that uh, matches right up to it. And here you've, it's got the drawing that it shows you exactly where the major diameter and the minor diameter are, what they're talking about. So it gives you a little education on thread and information. And here we're looking at internal. If you want to find out where exactly the minor diameter is, it's that area right there, which would be inside an ID. That's your minor diameter. So that's everything you need to know for cutting a thread. Here we go. All right, let's see what we're set up here. We're gonna cut 24 threads per inch. Got the machine slowed down to 70 RPMs. Got a mark on my threading tool. Got some uh, dicum in there so I can track the thread. And let's go in here and put a skim cut. We're set up for 24 threads per inch. Let's see what we get. these light threads I'm not turning the compound slide to 29 and a half degrees I'm just going to use the 
the DRO and come in 28 thousandths. That's how thick these or deep these threads have to be. So that's where we're going with that. So here we go. And for 24 threads per inch, I can use any number on this dial. So uh, we'll see how accurate that is. Here we go. change the gear and I've got two gears flip flopped come right back to you all right it always pays to do a skim pass had two gears flip flop back and forth had a 48 tooth on the top and I needed to have it on the on the bottom so let's see if we're any closer also increase the speed to 190 rpm now that I got the gear in right it's running really slow. All right, we'll uh, let one come back around. Zero. Go back to zero on DRO. We'll give her another try. We'll try a uh, three thousand scratch. <laughs> thousandths on that thread so let's see what we can do here I guess we can put a little lubrication on it now
sure don't look very deep. Gotta keep going, give it some more depth here. cap, match it up to the threads, we'll be one step closer to the next suppressor. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is how to torment Zeke in one easy step. Here you go, take it boy, take it, take it. Now you want some food? Speak, speak, speak. <laughs> you want, can you speak? Zeke, do you want some food? Here, you gotta take this. Take it. Now speak. Speak. Can you speak? I'll give you some food. I'll give you some food if you speak. Yeah. Can you speak? Huh? No, 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 no. Yeah, but you gotta hold this. You gotta hold this in your mouth. Take it. Get the bottle. No, 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 no. Come on, get the bottle. No. Here. Now speak. Speak. Speak, I'll give you some food. Speak. You got it? Can you speak? Speak. Can you speak? I'll give you some food. I'll give you some food. Can you How to speak? Yeah? You a drinking man? You a drinker? You want some food? A snack? Some kibbles? I'm just gonna hit the old bottle. Yeah? Making me look bad here. Thought I was gonna do a trick with you. Well, that just goes to show you that Zeke's a hell of a lot smarter than he looks. He's a damn good looking dog. Huh, Zeke? 
Oh boy, let me have that bottle. You don't need that. Here we go.